Hello, welcome to the allotment. We're down the bottom half this time. We don't normally come down here very often. Um, we just sort of keep the grass as short as we can. Um, but we've just bought some fruit trees, just four fruit trees, um, an apple, a pear, a cherry and a plum. And we're going to pop them down here so we've got like a, a mini orchard. So they're in that box over there. But we've just discovered right where we want to put a tree there's a massive great big tarp under the grass so we're um just about to try and dig that out um see if we can get these trees in before it gets dark and we've got probably about an hour before the sun goes down so uh yeah let's see if we can get on with it and get that tarp out the ground so I've also bought some daffodil bulbs along with me that I bought from um, Farmer Gracie. I've got these little ones, Jetfire, and then Mondragon. I think um, they're supposed to be scented, so that would be quite nice. Um, I just thought I'd pop these in um, around where the trees are going. And um, it give us a little bit of colour in the spring. So Graham's over here trying to get this tarp out the ground, doing a a good job because uh, I, I was struggling. So um, one of the trees is going to go right there where where that tarp was, and uh, we'll put some daffodil bulbs around it as well. Just opening up the trees. See what they like. They've got little stakes. Boxes nearly as big as I am. They've got little stakes. There you go. And you can see where they've been grafted on as well. There's another one. They look quite good. Well, that's a golden delicious apple, that one. That's a good apple. Here we go. There's another one. It's conference pear, I think. They've given us a free tree. So let's see what we've got. Because I ordered four trees. I ordered an apple, a pear, a plum, and a cherry. It's a banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Graham's behind the camera. He reckons we've got a banana. We've got a black amber. Let's have a look at the paper. Let's see what we've got. So we've got um. um Oh, they're all mini trees because they were they were sort of a, a deal where you kind of got the last of what they had in stock really so um we've got a conference pear a gala apple um a cherry which is called sylvia um a mini golden yellow apple and a black plum that sounds interesting as mm. well so there we go, we've got five trees, so two apples, a pear, a plum and a cherry. So that's pretty good going. So now we've just got to work out where they're going to go in this spot here. Here we go, last hole going in. So I've got the trees um, are a Black Friday deal um, through um, a uh, app um, called Woucher, but the trees all came from Thompson and Morgan, so they're um, pretty good trees. But I did have a look on um, Thompson and Morgan 
site itself and they were they worked out quite expensive so this was a really cheap way of doing it although he didn't know what um what types of tree we were getting so uh, a bit of a lucky dip right we're going to get these in the ground now well taped up. <laughs> it take me ages to get in them. I'm so excited about getting these trees in the ground. It means three years down the line we're gonna have lots of lovely fruit. This one is the cherry tree going in now. It's called Sylvia. They're blooming well. <laughs> They're really difficult to get into. The nice little tree, you can see that they've got nice, good, strong root growth on them, which is what we want. Let's just get some dirt back in the hole there. Because we basically want to make sure that we're still level when we're planting it in, that this is still level with the top of the ground. So I'm just putting this back in. The grass will die off and help to nourish the plant as the tree as it grows. That's why I'm putting it upside down. Hold back up. That'll be okay in there. There's another one down. Goldish, golden, delicious apple.
so I'm definitely in need of getting in the ground. One more in. This one's the gala apple going in now. Try not to get all these massive roots in there with it. So we don't want to give it anything to compete with. Last one is the uh, black amber plum, which sounds pretty interesting to me. Can't wait to see what the fruit's like on this one. Back and ambery. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, that's the trees in and I'm just going to zip round and pop some daffodil bulbs in around them so that they can pop up and give us a bit of colour in the spring. So I'm just going to water these trees in and the ground's pretty soggy anyway but it won't hurt to give them a good drink and I have, I've just put in some daffodil bulbs around them as well. And uh, we just about managed to get the trees in before sunset. How about that? <laughs> Bit of a rest job, but at least they're in. And um, that's going to be it for today. So we we're off um, to get some dinner and get warmed up because it's freezing. I don't know if I've got a red nose, but it's really cold. <laughs> so we're going to go in and warm up and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.